You know, it'd be really cool if someone in the early 1900s, or even better, the late 1800s, came up with a lightweight camping stool. You know, something that you could take with you and pack away, but doesn't take up too much space. Like I said, it's lightweight, so it's not going to break your back carrying it. And of course, you know, being a man, a six foot one and 200 some pounds, it can withstand some weight and be really versatile, especially for things like fishing, hunting, camping, of course, that's low enough to the ground that makes it easy to cook, but not so low that you can't get back up. Man, that would be nice. Wait, someone did come up with such an idea. And that's what we're going to talk about today. It's really cool. Now today there are some modern examples of a lightweight folding camping stool. And I try to reach out to some of those companies to see if they'd be willing to do a side by side and no one's got back to me. I guess I'm not big enough yet, but maybe in the future we can do a side by side of modern contemporary camping stools that are lightweight, backpack worthy, and uh, fits the bill just like what I said. But what's really cool, someone in the late 1800s did come up with such a stool. And it's so small that I can carry it in my haversack. And that's on. So let's take a look. We open it up here. Oh, there we're, that's where that went. And we pull out this. All right, just a moment, I'm gonna take off the haversack. I'm gonna show you all about this. This is the camping stool. As you can see, it's just slightly larger than 12 inches. It's uh, not very big at all. And it's made of old school steel construction. The feet are rather unique because it uses, well, physics and geometry to make sure it's really stable and it's really strong. If you weren't aware about the strongest shape in the world, it is the triangle. So if we go ahead and separate the two, you can see there are two parts. Interesting, right? And you got a male end and you got a female end. I don't know if that's politically correct anymore. But if we fold out the legs here, and it's nice steel, solid construction. And I'm sure it's been used out in the field and there's no damage to it whatsoever. That's, that's pretty impressive. And we stick that on the ground. Now we see it's got four legs. Well, it'd be more stable as if it had three, but four legs works out pretty well. It might wobble a little bit if it's on uneven ground. And then we take this and we stick it on top and it has a little latch. Now we have a camping stool. Now I gotta give credit to Mr. Denny because on one of the Facebook groups, I think he posted it in Bannerman's, uh, he showed this and on eBay, and I went and I snatched it. That's what's really cool about those Facebook groups. It's in my description box below because you, you get to see some really amazing stuff and everybody's sharing things, uh, information and pictures and all sorts of cool stuff. So this is the camping stool. And what's really unique and ingenious about this, this is swivels. There's not a lot of camping stools out there, especially today, that can withstand the rigors of outdoor life, the swivels. So this is a pretty neat feature, especially if you're either fishing or if you're hunting. That's pretty cool. If we take a look at the seat itself, this is made by the Hercules Company. If you've liked this video, if you found it useful or entertaining, please click like. That way other people find it. You'll be helping them out. We really appreciate it. It's the pocket folding stool. Hercules Specialty Works in Springville, New York. Other patents pending. Uh, it was patented April 2nd, 1889, USA, and foreign countries. Now, I haven't sat in this because it's really old, and these type of fabrics tend to be pretty brittle. And I haven't seen another one like it. So I want to make sure that this can withstand another 100 years and be passed on to the next generation. But look at that. It's, it's folds up. One-handed. Pack that away. You can tie it up or you can just put it in your, your haversack, like I said. Now, it weighs about two pounds. That's not really all that heavy when you think about it being all steel construction. And when you think about how many people have sat on this in the past and uh, its general purpose, which is for outdoor adventure. So that's really, really cool. And like I said, if we take a look at the feet here, 
you can kind of see how it's got the spoons out. That way it gets purchased on the ground and it has the triangular tubing. That way it has stability and strength. And even the base itself, that is a pretty solid old school steel. Now this came out during a time when camping was really starting to boom, right? You got the, uh, not quite the automotive craze yet, but there's a lot of people who are still going out west that are traveling. You got people that are going west for the gold mines or up into the Klondikes for the gold. You have British Empire that's trying to maintain its vast empire. So in the late 1800s, it was very common, especially with high-end British populations to, well, invest in campaign furniture. Things that can be folded, things that can be stowed away, things that can somewhat be light. When you look at some of those British officers, they're not packing very light. But uh, when you think about the Klondike in North America and you think about the gold rush out west or the expeditions out west still, you had the Smithsonian that was starting to really explore out west more and bring back artifacts to the National Museum, things like that. This, something like this would be very, very useful. But the sporting industry was really starting to explode during that time. And then, you know, about 15 years later, you got the car boom, the auto camping craze. So this is just another testament to that golden age of camping that is really, really cool. And if you're one of those uh, people who happen to be involved in one of those stool companies, then reach out to me, because I really would like to do a side-by-side -side comparison as far as size, weight, and other things. Uh, the good old gear that's lasted this long versus so much gear today that tends to be throwaway. All right, now if you like this video, please click like, that way other people find it. I hope you find it interesting. Don't forget to leave me a comment. What's your favorite camp stool? Now, many of you might just sit on a stump. That's generally what I do. If I don't have a stump, they also make those little uh, fabric triangles and you can build a bushcraft tripod and put the triangle on there and you can sit on that too. I have a bushcraft stool. Those are pretty cool. Much more lightweight than this. A little bit more work, but fairly reliable as long as you're not too big, right? <laughs> but let me know what kind of stool or chair you like to use, especially if you go backpacking and uh, long distance camping or if you don't take one. If you want to see my playlist of historic camping gear, then you want to check this one out here. And if you're interested in my inspirational videos, then check this one out here. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Give a kiss on to your loved ones, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.